This clip is about how to structure your consultation. It's really important that you have your own structure and you keep practicing it. When you're doing your CSA, you'll have this to fall back on when you're feeling nervous, it will flow automatically. We would start by encouraging the patient's contribution by a prolonged silence. Saying nothing will allow the patient to give you as much information as possible. Then go on to a targeted history and also ask about the red flags. Ideas, concerns and expectations also need to be included in this section. Also remember to do your family history and social history. In the social history, look particularly at asking about smoking, alcohol, work and driving in certain cases. Next is going on to a focused examination. In the actual CSA, just say what you want to examine. If they do want you to carry on, they will allow you to. If not, you'll be given some information about what the examination findings are. The last part is the management and it is really important to make sure this is as patient-centred as possible. You can start by going through the examination findings with your patient and giving them a diagnosis using jargon-free language. Make sure you also address any items that have come up in the ideas, concerns and expectations section and which you would have done earlier in the consultation. Making sure that your safety netting, arrange appropriate follow-up and use effective use of resources that may be available to you are also important. Give enough time for the patient to ask any questions, by which time you should have finished your consultation. Click on the link here to download a copy of our structured consultation and also our mark scheme.